Hi, I'm Joe Doniger, Director of Theater Arts at Hull High School. Welcome to our stage as we get ready for Oklahoma. In 1943, the course of the American musical theater changed when Rodgers and Hammerstein's Oklahoma officially opened on Broadway. Interesting piece of trivia I bet you never knew before if you lived here in Hull. Across from the temple, there's a little ranch house, and the gentleman who lived there was one of the finalists for the role of Curly on Broadway. He told me he was too short, that's why he didn't get the role, but I could never confirm nor deny this fact. In 1955, the movie opened, and in those days, going to a movie in Boston was a big thing, and I remember my grandmother taking me on a Saturday morning into Boston to see Oklahoma, the first time I got to see it and truly fall in love with it. When we do a show here at Hull High School, we try and pick a season that offers our viewers different things different kinds of shows. And we try to give everybody who goes through our program a chance to participate in different shows over their possible six years or more in the program. This is the first time in a long time we've done a Rogers and Hammerstein show, and we're very, very excited to be bringing Oklahoma to Hull this weekend. I'd like to introduce you to some of our friends here in the Oklahoma Territory. I'd like you to meet our friend Andrew Carnes. Many of you might recognize him and some might not. Last time you saw him on this stage, he was totally covered in green as he played Shrek. So how's it feel, Mr. Carnes, to be playing a different kind of role? Oh, it's, uh, it's definitely different. What do you like about it? I love it. I mean, my daughter, Ada Wanny, being the sheriff of this wonderful town, it's amazing. And, and we're glad to have you here once again. Thank you. Let's move along. Here's Aunt Ella, and she's busy churning butter. Now, if you want to look right here, that prop was one of the hardest things to find, a butter churn. However, we're very, very fortunate in that her father is a very talented carpenter, and he just happened to build this far. Well, how's it feel to you, Aunt Ella, to be playing a major role this time? It is overwhelming, but of course, it's more than I expected. I love it so much, and I couldn't have it any other way. What part of the role do you enjoy doing the most? Aunt Eller's attitude is so much like mine, and I love it so much. It's very fun. Oh, you're an ornery person, naturally? Oh, well, thanks for sharing that with us. Over here are two of my very favorite people, Mr. Ali Hakim and Gertie. <laughs> Do you hear that laugh? You're going to hear it an awful lot during the show, and Ali Hakim, our Persian peddler, could end out with her. Ali Hakim, uh, what's this look like for you doing this short role? It is a wonderful pleasure to play, be playing a role that our director played back in the 80s. This weekend, I will have played in 1986, I played the role of Ali Hakim that he's doing. And I had a suit similar to that, and I was determined to get him fabric. And Ms. Sharon Striglio made that costume for him, which is pretty true to the era. Gertie, you may recognize from past performances as Fiona, and now she's playing the silly Gertie. And how do we like this role? Oh, it's so fun! Listening to that laugh at rehearsals for hours on end was a bit much at times. Anything else here? What is this? Let me show you some fine clothing. If you're interested in buying, my cart is always open. A man after my own heart, always willing to make a buck for Hull High School Theater Arts. And over here, we have one of the happy couples, Ado Annie and Will Parker. For Allie Rosenbaum is Ado Annie. This is the first time for her playing a major role. How is it? I love every moment I spent with my Will. I just love not being able to say no. Because <laughs> she is the girl who can't say no. And for Eric, who's playing Will Parker, this is kind of a special show because this ends his six-year career here at Hull High School. So, what's it like now? Well, I'm sad to be leaving my career here at HHS Theater Arts, but it's great to be taking my final bow with my girl, Ado Annie. And we'll miss you. Um, there's one couple that's missing right now. Guys, uh, they're off stage. Could you bring them in, please? What production of Oklahoma would not be complete without having the Surrey with the fringe on top? And here's the happy couple, Laurie and Curly, both on stage and off stage. And this was kind of an unusual bit of casting for us to 
have a boyfriend and girlfriend cast in the roles. How's it been to do this together? Well, it's just been so lovely being here with my Lori. She's just my little sweet bucket of cream. I mean, I wouldn't have it any other way. I mean, I love him, but I won't ever tell him. Aha, uh -huh. it sounds like The Bachelor. Okay, um, if you look around the stage, you'll see some pretty unique pieces. We're very, very fortunate to have this, sorry, with the fringe on top. James Hardison and Peter Somers made this for us, as well as the iconic windmill over there. Mike McDonough, Paul Jenkins, Scott Bennett, and Kevin McCurdy have been here many, many hours building so very many of the set pieces for this show. Interesting to see will be a lot of the costumes in this show. We're running close to 100 costumes, and they really are true to the era. Um, if you look at his outfit here, this really was from a costume pattern designed for this era as was what Gertie is wearing now. The uh, real truth was we had trouble getting that costume patent and had to track it down on eBay. A lot of the kids' cowboy shirts are literally f for probably about 30, 40 years old. Uh, some of my theater friends came through for me and lent me a lot of these things. If you look at the boots that some 15 of them are wearing, you'll notice that they really are from the era. Someone in town very kindly made a generous donation to us so that I could add something special to the show. And what I opted to do was get realistic boots of the era. There's an awful lot more to see right here in Oklahoma. So why are you sitting there still? Go online, go to ticketstage.com and buy your tickets or come down to the school. We'll be, we will be selling tickets every night from 6 to 8 p.m. or at the door. Shows are this Friday night at 7.30, Saturday at 1.30, and Saturday again at 7.30 p.m. So come on down and see one of Rodgers and Hammerstein's greatest musicals, Oklahoma. Thanks, and we'll see you there.